And now, it's time for one minute or so inside Angie's head. In the office birthday festivities, ugh, the gatherers in this room to celebrate what? The fact that the parents of these people had sex? Really? I mean, the only time these people even actually socialize is if there's booze or cake. Just look at him. Oh, happy birthday, Pete. He's so handsome and smart and funny and has nice hair and smells nice and has a nice office and nice hair. Oh, I need to get my hair done. I have a ton of gray hair. I'm too young for gray hair. I wonder if I can get an appointment today. Wait, focus. There's Kelly Ellert with a birthday. That sounds like racing fuel. Kelly Ellert. God, she couldn't be a race car driver. Have you seen the way she drives? And yet, we put her in the street in company vehicles daily. Hey, Terry. Happy birthday, Miss Crazy Cat Lady. Miss Dance in the Hall Lady. Miss Always Has a Smile Lady. What the hell's in that coffee you drink anyway that makes you like that all the time? A little drinky drinky before you dress your cat up and drop him off at the daycare? Ah, oh, Dave Fighter has a birthday too. He's the most like guy in the office. Never around, comes in like a ninja to do weekend shifts and slips out without disturbing anyone. What a guy. I wish all guys were like that. Slip in like ninjas, do their jobs, and slip out again without even speaking. Perfect. Sarge had a birthday in January. Wow, what's all the little stuffed animals in his office? Are those voodoo dolls? Is he in there cursing us all? If I could put a curse on someone where they'd actually totally scream my name every time they had sex, I would do that. Hmm, Morgan the IT guy had a birthday too. Well, I actually got a piece of his cake. That sounds dirty. I got a piece of his cake. It was thick and white and sweet, just like him. Roger Deem, El Presidente, Mr. Head of State has a birthday. That's a guy you want to be friends with. He can get you into anywhere, anytime. He has that fantastic lake cottage, boats, great yard. He's charming. Everybody wants a piece of Roger's Deem. Ah, Angie Rivas has a birthday. God, that laugh. Really? I don't know. She's not so bad. And she's pretty awesome. Wait for it. Some. Yeah, wait, ugh, are more birthdays, back to more fake smiling, more clapping. Now it's that guy from the parking lot who smokes. He works here? Ryan, that's his name. Duly noted. That little fiery redhead's getting up. She must have a birthday too. Ah, Christy Lewis. She has a giant smile, but have you ever seen her mad? Whoa. Hate to be on the receiving end of those pointy ass boots she wears. Not boots. I love boots. I love shoes. God, I love shopping. Wait, whoa, what? There's more? Oh, great. Anniversaries. Two guys have been here for 10 years. Wow, that's amazing. 10 years with the same job. I'm lucky to get 10 continuous months. I'm such a serial job quitter. Mmm, serial. So wait, that morning guy, Weasel, he's been here for 10 years? Wow, the same as Roger. Yeah, Roger has a big fancy office and the big fancy desk and all the respect. Hmm. Well, that morning guy gets to work with that Angie girl and God, she's hot. What's that president guy do anyway? Walk around, smile, kiss babies, hug old women? That sounds like the making of a prime grade A pervert. Melissa and Lynn have each been here for a year now. Hmm, seems like just yesterday Melissa was new in town, making friends, offering to sell them ads. <laughs> ads, sounds like abs. I gotta work out. It's almost swimsuit weather. Wait, swimsuits, wait. Aren't Melissa and Lynn from Florida? Sunny, warm, big mouse wearing clothes, Florida? Place where my liar ex-boyfriend moved after he dumped me and ripped my heart out like it never even meant anything? Ugh, I hate Florida. Guys, is it time for drinks at the stadium yet? And that is one minute or so inside Angie's head.